welcome, welcome back on C squared. In this uh, example, we're going to look how to solve rational equations. So, if you notice here, we have a rational equation. The first step you want to do is to factor out everything that can be factored out. In this case, we need to factor out uh, the right side of the rational equation, uh, this quadratic, uh, which is x minus 4, x minus 3, right? Now, we want to look for the least common multiple for uh, these three denominators, the bottom of the fraction, and that will be x minus 4 times x minus 3 in this case. So, we're going to multiply by this uh, least common multiple both sides. As you're going to see here, this least common multiple times the left side. Right? And we're going to do the same thing on the right side, so we can keep this equality. In fact, let, let's put a factor form here. Okay. Good. And now here we're going to use distributive property. And we're going to have x minus 4 times x minus 3 times 5 over x minus 4 minus, again, distributive property, x minus 4 times x minus 3 times 2 over x minus 3. And here on the other side, we can simplify, but let's keep it like that, and we're going to do the simplification in the very next step. Okay, so just copy what we have. And now we're going to do, like I said, the simplification. And you notice, this x minus 4 cancel out this x minus 4. The, the, the fraction is cleared. And we have 5 times the quantity x minus 3 here, minus this x minus 3 cancel this x minus 3. So again, another moment where the fraction is cleared. And we have 2 times x minus 4. Don't forget, we can switch in multiplication because that multiplication is commutative. And here, yeah, both uh, expression cancel out. So we have left only 5. And if you notice, from that rational equation, we have nothing else than something very nice. Right? The distributive property here, we're going to have 5 times x, 5x, five, 5 times 3, 15, minus 15, right? Minus 2x. And be careful here, this becomes plus 8 equals uh, these two guys are alike, so we have 3x. These two guys are alike, minus 7 equals 5. We're going to add 7 on both sides, and we get what? We get 3x equals 12, divided by 3, we get x equals 4, which looks like a good solution. However, Take a look to your denominator always, and you notice that x minus 4. If we plug that 4 in, we can end up with 5 over 0. That, that is not good. That is undefined, how we call it. So, in fact, what we have here is a fake solution because it doesn't work for the equation we have. This is what we call an extreme solution. So, in fact, this equation has no solution. No solution. If you enjoyed the video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more math. Thank you.